Hey guys, today I'm going to answer a question that I get constantly, and that is how many of what batteries do I need to support blah 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 power? Well, it doesn't matter how many watts you have. What we actually need to know is how many amps you draw. Because I don't know if you're making 8,000 watts with 800 amps, or if you're making 8,000 watts with 1,800 amps. Nobody can tell us that. You could tell us that with a DC clamp meter and knowing how much current you pull. So, if you have an idea how much current you're going to pull, then you have an idea of what kind of cells you're going to use and how many of them you need. Because cells have a C rating and an amperage rating on them. And C rate is amps over time. So, if you know that you need to go 30 seconds in your base boxing run and you need to be able to support 900 amps for 30 seconds or whatever it is, then you can compare it to what cells you want to use and what cells you need. And also it depends on the voltage because if you're not charging your cells full capacity or whatever, then you're going to need more of them to have more of a backbone for your system for the amount of time. So say 10 amp hour skib cells, for example, you got a 300 amp discharge continuous. Well, you know you can do 300 amps until that battery's dead. So, you can base, you know, okay, well, I need 300 amps. That's enough to support, you know, 3,000 watts. But you also need some reserve, too, so 10 amp hour ain't going to be enough. You build a 30 amp hour bank, you're going to more than support your wattage, and you're going to have plenty of power to support what you need over the amount of time. And then, yeah, so like if you have higher voltage, you can run LTO. If you run lower voltage, then you need Life Epo 4 or whatever. You can look all this kind of stuff up. You know, a yin long bank is good for 10C, 400 amps, constant. A nano bank, it's good for 15C, so 15 times 24. That's the amount of current. So asking how much battery you need for how many watts does us absolutely no good. You need to know how many amps you need to support and how long, a power, how long you want to support that amperage. The longer you want to support, the more amp power you need. And it's all math. You can figure this all out in math. It's pretty simple if you go in my group there's equations to figure out C rate and amperage and all that kind of stuff and a lot of these cells tell you like a 20 amp hour skib tells you uh, it's what 200 amps constant and 500 amps for a 30 second burst so then you know oh I can support this much power because you know your amperage for 30 seconds or 200 amps for continuous amount of time until you're out of amp hour. That's how you figure it out. Hopefully this helps answer a lot of people's questions because I get these questions time and time again and yeah, it's, it's crazy. And I, I can't answer every single one. Facebook even bans me after a while after replying to people because I'm answering so many people, how many watts do I need or how many amp hour do I need to support X amount of watts? Well, <laughs> turns into a whole bunch of questions and a whole bunch of replies and then I get banned. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, if you want cells with linear discharge, you know, like C-Max or Skibs or like the microvast, or if you want flat discharge cells like uh, Lishins, or like the nanos are pretty flat, headways are pretty flat. And what I mean by linear discharge is your discharge starts up here, drops consistently at a rate down. And a flat discharge is going to go like bloop, and then flatline for a while, and then drop off. So depending on the voltage you want to support, 
that's why a lot of people get like this false sense with C-Max that they have this great voltage or whatever that never drops. Well, it's because you have a linear discharge and when you compare a cell that has a flat discharge, you're like, oh, well, why do I drop to like here? And then you stay there the whole time. Well, you know, it's, it's not that those cells are worse. It's that that's what they're meant to do. It's, and these cells are linear. So yeah, if you only go down so far and then you're recharging back up and then going down so far and recharging back up, that's because of the linear discharge, just like you would have with skibs or microvast or the SPIMs or whatever. That's how that works. So hopefully this helps explain some to some people. I'm sure I'm still going to get a million questions. Leave your comments on YouTube. That way I can actually reply back to them because after a while, like I said, Facebook blocks me from replying back to people because it's like, hey, you've commented 150 times in an hour. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps.